Hey you, come with me to Adepticon 2024 right after the intro. <laughs> I just got back to the studio. Oh boy, Adepticon 2024. There is a lot to unpack. First things first, it is magnificent. There are so many models on display, so many people to meet. I ran into a couple of fellow creators, including Scott the Miniac and Casey from eBay Miniature Rescues. Everybody's so nice in this hobby and I cannot be thankful enough for that. Who else is nice? The individual vendors. Let's take a look at my haul from Adepticon this year. There it is. Okay, not the biggest haul ever, but we got um, a three bags and this little pamphlet. Let's start with the bags. So first things first, I stopped by a booth that really caught my eye. Their name is War Scenery. They are a premier 3D printing company from Germany, and they brought over some of their epic scale terrain as well as some of the 32 millimeter scale terrain. I was talking to the guys at the booth, they're really nice, they're really good at painting and really good at printing and really passionate about the hobby. I picked up some of these moisture farm-esque things that uh, look like they're from Star Wars because I want to do some sort of Star Wars board sometime in the future. Thank you War Scenery, these are awesome. I can't wait to include them in my table design. So the next thing is I bought into a, a new game for me called Mercs. It is a skirmish game where you play as five little operatives and you fight against somebody else and they're five operatives in the set in the near future with a lot of modern weaponry, not a lot of lasers and stuff from what I can see, but um, there's some really cool miniatures. I bought sets from two different factions. One is the Chemvar, which are kind of the generic soldiers but they have some really kind of cool aesthetics with a lot of big guns and their whole thing is camouflage. And I think that is really cool. Um, but what really caught my eye and what seems to be my, my favorite, at least from a miniature design standpoint is the GCC. The guys at the Mercs booth pitched it as uh, Judge Dredd aesthetics. As you know, I love retro aesthetics and Judge Dredd is dripping in that. These miniatures have such a almost cyberpunk aesthetic mixed in with a um, near future modern aesthetic. There's a guy with a hammer, there's some more guns, and one of my favorites, there is a little robot. This little drone that crawls around. I'm not sure what he does. I'm not sure what any of these guys do. I need to actually read the rules. Thank you, Mercs, for demoing the game. I can't wait to look more into the rules so I can learn how to play. Also to know I'm not sponsored by any of these vendors. I just was going shopping and I wanted to share what I bought because I love it. I love nerding out about it. Next. So one of my favorite things to do at Adepticon and one of the first booths I actually went to was the Toledo Game Room booth, AKA the Bits Guy. 
the bits guy as i've described it before it's a booth with just these bins upon bins of every single Warhammer faction you can think of. I think there's some Battletech stuff too, but every single Warhammer faction you can think of and you just dive in there and look through a bunch of Ziploc bags of different bits and miniatures. It is, <laughs> is the nerd's dream. You have to sift through all this stuff. So I was sifting through some things and there was some um, vehicle bins. And if you don't know already, I am slowly but surely collecting um, some space marines, some dark angels. And I came across this tank. I wanted to have some sort of tank with my army because I don't have any tanks yet. And I, I bought it thinking that it was a land raider. When in fact, it wasn't. It isn't the tank that I need but it is the tank that I deserve. It is a predator annihilator slash destructor. It has, um, it's came fully magnetized and fully sanded. Thanks to whoever did that and sold it to the bits guy because now it has a nice home. It's equipped with some of these big, big old las cannons that come right off. Beautiful. Same day I found some stuff for a, a buddy of mine, just a lot of chaos and a lot of tyranids. Bits. This is just kind of an example of what you might find in the Bits Guys bins. As you can see, I'm dressed really warm. I was really cold on the Friday, so I skipped the day and went back and then went straight back to the Bits Guy. I sold him a miniature and then traded him for another Space Marine vehicle. I was hooked on that Predator tank and I wanted to get what I originally was aiming for, which was a land raider so this is indeed a land raider it is missing at least one of the guns and i took it home and realized that it is also a space wolves tank nothing against space wolves but i don't play space wolves so what i'm going to have to do is uh mod it and get rid of the space wolves insignia on these doors and on the front latch here. It's gonna take work, but I love work. And when have I ever shied away from work? What am I talking about? I put off these uh, armies for forever, but no more. We're doing it this year. Watch my last video if you wanna hear me talk about that more. Now that we've gone through my Bits Guy stuff, I wanted to talk about two more things. Firstly, I also stopped at the Black Sight Studios booth and picked up a couple of things to go with my Lunar Collection from last year. Watch the video here if you'd like to see that. I picked up a couple of things from them, one being uh, the new rule set for Lunar and something that I've been anticipating for a very long time, their Moon Buggy. They stopped selling this online for a while and I checked online the other day and it, I realized that they do have it again for at least a little bit of time. Um, I talked to Connor at the booth and he was saying that they um, set aside some of these for their convention. So um, that's how I picked it up. This is the best aesthetic vehicle for me because it is just a classic moon buggy from like the US moon landing. I think it will go very well with the miniatures that I've already bought from them. The new lunar rules, um, it sounds like there's not a, a ton of changes, just a couple of things, but I wanted to make sure I had the most updated version before I show you guys how to play. Hopefully we will get to showing you guys how to play at some point. I am planning on showing you guys how I paint the miniatures first. So we're gonna start with that. Another cool thing from Black Sight Studios was these little measuring tools. Last year, they just kind of had them with their name, Adepticon, etc. This year has their name, Adepticon, and also these little punch outs for little miniatures. I got one for, I'm not sure which game this is for, I think Himetsu. Maybe Yafsiga, it's one of their one of their more uh, fantasy monster games, it looks like. And this one is, of course, for Lunar Kids. It's a little astronaut. Last but certainly not least, I wanted to take a moment to talk about Dragonfall, which is a charity gaming festival here in the Midwest, a little bit farther north from me in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. I want to be completely honest. I don't know a ton about this festival, but what I do know is that it sounds like it is being put on for a very good cause. It is essentially a smaller version of Adepticon, but attached to charity. It's happening on October 4th, 5th, and 6th of this year. So mark your calendars, especially if you're in the Midwest area, in Wisconsin, Chicago, et cetera, et cetera. That's what the Space Wolf cosplayer was from, was he was promoting this event. That's Dragonfall. Please go check it out. I know I'm gonna try to be there. I hope you can be there too. See you at the party, Richter.
Well, there we are, folks. There is my little haul from Adepticon 2024. No, it's not the biggest haul ever, but you know, I'm on a budget. Perhaps you'll be on a budget and be inspired to stick to something a little bit, you know, less expensive. Uh, I didn't spend a ton of money this year. Mercs was relatively cheap. Um, I got some good deals on the tanks. And also I got a pretty good deal on these pieces of terrain from War Scenery. Thank you again, War Scenery. As I said in my last video, I would like to get out of the studio more and participate in more events in the War Hammer and War Gaming communities. So please let me know if there are any I should be aware of, especially if they're in the Midwest area, because that is where I am based. And I will try my best to document them and show them to you guys so you can experience them along with me. And lastly, thanks again to all these vendors, to all the creators I met over this weekend, and to all of you watching this video. You keep this channel alive along with inspiring me to keep making more videos. I can't thank you enough. Thank you for being you. And as always, thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you never miss another one of my uploads. And if you're feeling lucky, hit that share button and it will really help this channel to grow. Thanks everyone, and I will see you all in the next video.